so good morning to all so whether all the uh, students are present என்ன வரணும் மாரூடி யாரோ ஆ எஸ் மேம் 19 தான் இருக்காங்க டோட்டலா 45 ஜாயின் பண்ணனும் Okay, Ruby, I'll take care. Now, Mudira Po will just send a message for her at the end of the presentation. Okay, okay. Yes, thank you. Well, how many students were there in the morning sessions? Kumar. Ma? How many students were there in the morning sessions? Morning session it was nearly uh, 30 I think. Okay. So what are all the topics which were covered in the morning sessions? Uh, how to insert text in PowerPoint and how themes, uh, what are the themes are there and mm -hmm. how to work with PowerPoints like that. Okay. Is my PPT visible? Ah, yes, my visible map. Okay. So we'll start the uh, next session. So again, uh, so we are in the certificate course on uh, professional documentation and presentation skills using MS Office. So I'm going to cover uh, uh, MS Word, that is Microsoft Word. So how many of you know very well to work with the MS Word, especially to prepare the documents and everything? Yeah, you can post your uh, responses in the chat box. Yes, Lalit Kumar, you have raised your hand. Okay. Let us, you say that uh, you are uh, well versed in my MS Word, right? Hi, yes, ma'am. Okay. What about others? In third year, how many of you are well versed in uh, MS Word? please respond okay so you know very well this uh, ms word is a uh, word processor software okay so it is developed by uh, microsoft in year 1983 itself right so whenever we want to uh, prepare any documents uh, especially if you want to uh, prepare uh, Uh, a document in a more professional way and also some letters or reports project reports resumes whatever okay so whatever document you would like to prepare in a more professional way so you can make use of this uh, uh, word processor software right and the the most uh, uh, advantageous thing here uh, while using this uh, word processor software is that we can uh, uh, edit the document or we can modify the document very easily and uh, even we can do it in a new document or an existing document okay and uh, so you have in ms word you have lot of options so to make your document uh, more attractive and also uh, so we can reduce the mm, the manual uh, uh, preparation of the documents and uh, and uh, especially in this uh, ms word so you have different features okay so you have uh, various features which are available in this ms word so these features are uh, very much useful for uh, preparing the document and also for uh, if you want to make uh, 
any changes if you can do the editing and all also you can uh, do formatting also in order to make the document more attractive and uh, you can include uh, um, uh, the designs or graphic designs or uh, sh shapes or smart arts or you can change the font color size and font styles you can change and you can insert the images and also you can insert uh, uh, videos etc okay so this ms word in general it has got a lot of features so we can make the document more attractive by using the several features available in this ms word okay and what is the latest version of this uh, office microsoft office what is the latest version which is available now 2021 2000 21. So, any other special features it has? Any other special features it has? Yes, Lalit Kumar. Mm, don't know, ma'am. Nearly it's same, but maybe there may be. Features. And whether it is a free software. Ah, no, ma'am. It's licensed software. Yeah, so it is a licensed software, so you have to buy it, right? So in order to use this uh, uh, Microsoft uh, Office software, so you have to buy it. So you have several features, as I said, and we can prepare the documents in a more professional way. So whatever it is, you can prepare some letters or documents or project reports. So whatever it is, you can prepare it using this word processor software. And uh, another thing is that, so we can prepare the document and we can... Uh, uh, share the document and we, we can access the document so whenever it is required okay and also we can save it in the computer so we can use it whenever we require and also uh, what is the uh, the file name extension for this particular document which is prepared using ms word what is the file extension so if you save it so what is the file extension you will get for a, a document uh, which is prepared using ms word dot doc yeah it is a uh, dot doc or dot uh, docx docs or doc okay so whatever document you are saving using ms word so that the file name extension for that particular document will be it will be either dot doc or it will be dot docs okay and what is the um, uh, so this is one of the component of uh, this uh, uh, microsoft office suit so either we can buy it separately and it is a uh, so, and what is the uh, OS platform for this? What is the OS platform? Windows. So, you can use it in either Windows or you can use it in Mac OS. So, which is nothing but the Unix operating system. Okay. So, we can use it both in Windows as well as Mac operating system. So, which is nothing but the Unix operating system. Okay. And... Uh, but I don't know, Lani Kumar is saying that uh, latest version is 2021. I don't know about that. But uh, so, uh, and what are the features of this MS Word? Okay, so we have several features. So as you can see in this particular slide, so you can see what are the different features available. So you can insert images in the document. Okay, so it has a provision of inserting the images in our document and also you can insert uh, videos in the document and it has different ranges of uh, font styles okay so we can incorporate different font styles uh, for the text uh, that is available in the document and also we can choose different colors for the uh, text so it has different ranges of colors so you can use the different types of colors also in order to make your document more attractive and you can include the page numbers Okay, and also you can uh, uh, set the uh, size of the page of your document. Okay, so you can set the size. So there are different sizes which are available in default in MS Word. <clears throat> so you can insert the page numbers and also you can set the size of your uh, page of your document. So these are some of the features in the MS Word. So you can, you can include images, you can include videos or you can change the font styles also, font size and also the font color. So everything you can change. And also you can insert the page number uh, for a document in order to identify or in order to locate a particular page very easily. So you can insert the page numbers. And also for the uh, size of the page, you can set it. You in, By default, you have a lot of options. So you can set the size of the page of the document. 
and also the other features are you can uh, uh, word art is there okay so uh, different writing styles are there so you can incorporate that for your document and tables also can insert in your ms word so we whenever we want to uh, like uh, give your data in the tabular form so you can give it using the tables option available in the ms word and also you can include uh, graphs or charts whatever and uh, these graphs and charts normally we uh, use the graphs and charts to represent any data in a statistical form so we can include graphs and charts also and animations again uh, the ms word uh, it will allow us to uh, create the animations and designs as per the user needs and also page border also we can include and page color also we can change so there is a provision for uh, including page border as well as the page color in the ms word so how to open a ms word document right so how to open a ms word document normally what will do eppadi open pannanum so you can go for search you can type word okay so you can type word so you can open like this and you will get a screen like this so you can go for a blank document so you will get a, a blank document like this okay so you can see here a different options so what are the uh, the menus you can see here so you have the file then home then insert draw design layout references mailings review view help okay so these are the menus you can see this is the main ribbon you can see in the word document okay so this is the uh, way you have to open a word document so you have to type word and you have to select the word application and uh, uh, so you have to select a blank document and press create button so this is the way you have to open ms word now these are the components of ms word as i say as i uh, have showed you in the screen so you have different components like this file you have home insert draw design layout references mailings review and view okay so these are the different components of the ms word so in the file option what you can see so you can uh, see different uh, sub menus here so you have new okay so if you want to create a new document you can click this option so here you can have different options like this so if you want to create a blank document you can create like this okay and uh, again you have open suppose if you want to open an existing document word document so you can open like this so here if you click on open so you can see different options so you can uh, locate the document in a particular location for example this pc so i can see different uh, uh, locations here downloads then c drive d drive e drive f drive etc so you can locate the file easily suppose if i want to locate any document in d drive and similarly if i uh, want to locate any document within a particular folder so i can do it okay so this is the way you have to open an existing document and in the info so you can see some of the menus so where you can see different options like uh, protect document inspect document and manage document so this protect document is particularly useful if you want to protect your file uh using a password right you know this option right how to protect a document so why we have to protect a document what is the reason for protecting a document why we have to protect a document so someone else who is apart from yeah suppose if it, if you feel that that particular document is so confidential for example as a faculty will prepare the question papers will set the question papers so we will make we'll try to make it as a confidential document so we'll protect it using a password okay so only uh, if the password is known the other user can open the particular document so you have the option in the word to protect your particular document using this particular option okay and here in the file you have the save option also so you can save your document so if you click on the save or you can you have the save as also okay save as 
and you have the print option, you have the share option, etc. Right? Then export. So here you have an option like create PDF or XPS. Okay, so you can create the PDF document or you can create a PDF file out of your Word document using this option. So these are the options available in the file menu. Okay. As I said, it uh, contains various options related to the file. So you have the new one, you have open, you have save, then save us. Again, history, print, share, export, info, etc. Now coming to the next tab, that is home. Okay, so this is the default tab. As you can see, this is the default tab of the MS Word. Okay, and here you can see five groups, uh, clipboard, then font, paragraph, style, and editing. And also we can uh, change the font color, font size, then bullets, position of your text, etc. And also it has the option of uh, cut, copy, and paste. Now let me show the home menu of your MS Word. So this is the default tab, as you can see. Okay, so you have different uh, menus like a clipboard, you have font, then you have paragraph, then you have styles, and you have the editing option also. Okay, and you have the option of uh, uh, finding uh, some uh, terms in a document and also replacing some words with another words in a word document, etc. So these are different uh, sub menus available in the home menu. Okay, now what is this paste option? What is this paste option? What is the shortcut menu for paste in the Word document? Shortcut key. Control C. That is for copy. Paste, control V. Yeah, control V. So control C is for copy and control V is for paste. What is control X? Cut. Cut. What is control Z? Undo. Undo. So what is control B? So there are certain shortcut keys like we can use it in the MS Word software. So control C is copy and control V is paste. Control X is cut. Control B is bold. Any idea? Bold. Bold. Yeah. What is control I? Italics. Yeah. Italics. Okay. So you have different options or we you have different shortcut keys which can use in the MS Word. Okay. And you have the paste option here. And you have the paste special also. What is this paste special? What is the difference between this paste option and the paste special? What is paste special and what is paste option? Simply you can paste it, right? And what is paste special? Uh, space option is for pasting only the text. So space special, we can paste the pictures, whatever we copy. So whenever you, you want to paste some picture or images into a document, so you can go for the space special option and you can save that picture or you can paste the particular picture in the word file in different formats. For example, the same picture, you can paste it as a GIF file or PNG file or JPEG file or enhanced meta file. So bitmap also, bitmap into the image of the paste of actually. So in different options you have actually. So if you go for paste special option, you can paste your picture in the uh, desired uh, file format you'd like to paste. Okay, so that option we have. And what is the format painter? What is this format painter? Any idea? What is this format painter? Another idea, Rika? Suppose I'm typing some letters like this, okay? Now, this is the capital case. Okay, this is the sentence case. This is small letters. Suppose if I'd like to change this particular text in the same format as like this. Okay, so what I can do is I can just uh, select this format painter and I can do that like this. And also,
when arch actually so in this particular text is in center alignment okay so back so this particular text is in center alignment whereas this particular text is in left alignment so what i am doing is so i am going to convert this particular text in the same alignment as this so i am just uh, selecting this text format painter and i am applying here so now this text also is, is in now center alignment like this so this is the option format painter that is you can uh, format the text uh, in whatever uh, format you'd like to change so based on now uh, some previous text which is available in the document okay so in the text in the format la irukko adhe format la na in the text ni change panna mudiyum using this format uh, painter option and coming to the font so you have different fonts okay and what is the standard font will use for preparing the document in general times new roman the okay, times new roman or you can go for arial also okay and sometimes some people are using calibri also so it depends on the user but in general times new roman is the most commonly used font and what is the font size that is preferred in the times new roman well 12 okay so that is 12 and if you go for arial you can make it as 11 okay and calibri also you can make it as either 11 or 12 so you have different fonts so which are available so you can choose your own font okay so you can select your text and you can change your font simply by selecting the font right and this is the font size okay so you can choose the font size also suppose simply you can increase the size of the font either by choosing this or you can reduce the size of the font by choosing this and what is this option so you have different options for the font like sentence case lower case upper case capitalize each word and toggle case etc so what is sentence case what is sentence case the first letter will be in yeah, capital the first letter will be capital what is lower case all the letters will be in small letters and upper case is all the letters will be in capital and suppose you have some continuous uh, uh, sent, uh, words like this you can capitalize each word so here if you select this we can capitalize each word like this okay so you have the different uh, uh, options also to change your case it can be either upper case or lower case or uh, you can capitalize each word or you can do it as a sentence case whatever okay and similarly this is bold option so you can select your text and you can select this in order to make it as a bold and similarly italics option is there where you can change your text as italics then you can underline using this option okay and you can strike it okay using this option and what about this what about this subscriptum superscript right idhe edhu use pannuvaanga actually for making some equations so for making some equations abiya illa square cube and mari so na ipo select panni idha select panna enna aayirum it will become superscript otherwise subscript venuna so thirupi na idu padanum abina you can use control plus select panni control plus then control plus again okay so it will uh, just come to its original uh, position again i can select this so subscript venuna idha select panikala again trippi varnuna can go for control plus again superscript venuna can select this so this is for uh, making subscript and superscript okay then what is this one actually what is this one so let us a different options or different styles like i do it different colors so you can change like this okay and you have different options also 
outline, then shadow, then reflection, glow. So you have different options. So I can use it. Okay. And you can highlight the text also using the different colors. Okay, so for uh, highlighting certain particular uh, text in a document, so you can go for this and you have different color options available for uh, highlighting. So you can use this also. And this is for the uh, text uh, color. Okay, so you can select the text and you can choose the different colors. Okay, this is for changing the color of the text. Okay, so these are the options which are available in the font. And if you want to clear the formatting, whatever you have done, so you can use simply this option to clear whatever formatting you have done, which is the clear all formatting option. Okay. So this is, uh, this particular, uh, uh, these particular features are especially used for uh, changing the uh, font or font size or font color or highlighting the text or uh, changing the sentence case. If it is a lowercase or uppercase, uh, whatever, you can do it. And uh, if you want to make your text bold or italic or underline, or if you want to strike certain text in a document, you can do it. And you can also go for subscript option or superscript option. So using this font. Okay. So the next one is the paragraph. Okay. So what is that paragraph? Paragraph line and options. And what is this actually? Bulletin. Yeah, bullet. Bullets are to use. Why we have to use bullets? We have seen two uh, components. One is the file, another one is the home. So home, you have different options. So we have to the clipboard. Then we have seen font. Then we are moving to the paragraph. And also you have the style editing option, etc. Okay. So every text insert under the Microsoft Word document. How to insert text in Microsoft Word document? How to insert text? So we have opened a Word file. We have uh, opened a new document. Then how to insert a text in a Microsoft Word? Enough text to insert per no no. What you have to do? So you'll have a cursor like this. Okay. So simply you can stop typing in a Word document like this. Okay, it's very simple. Yeah. So again, you have three methods, basically inserting the text without replacing any text. Suppose if you have only a document, so you can uh, insert the text in a particular document without replacing any text. And also we can replace some of the text also by inserting the text. Okay, and also we can insert the text with the help of a text box. So for example, or a document already irkabina, suppose in the document editor, so you have the text already. So we can insert the text simply by placing the cursor at any one point. Suppose replace panonal panala. Select panita, you can start typing so that existing words gets replaced. Okay. Illa add panonal panala. So you can add simply like this. And what is the text box option? So you can insert text using text box option also. Text box in the record. So you can go for insert. And so that is the option called text box. Okay. So you have different uh, text boxes. Simple text box. Austin quote. So in the mother in area options actually. So now I go for simple text box. So automatically a text box will be created like this. So you can create a document. So the select panni, delete panni. So you can type your text. Okay, like this. So this is the creation of text using a text box option. So in the even in the text box, different uh, uh, options we have. You can fill the colors if you want. Again, you can select and you can change the uh, color uh, of the text. So, narrow options we have. Okay. So, in this text box. Again, format, shape, coding, and Again, here you have the text, solid fill in the Madri Panala. Okay. And you have the borders. So, narrow options you can explore here. 
okay and line again borders edavadhu create pananumna pannalam so let me repeat it again so you can go to insert text box so i'm going for simple text box so you'll get get a text box like this again the same text i'm retaining so right click panni format shape so you can fill it okay mm pattern fill so you can either go for pattern fill also so adu irukku so different options are there okay and my line um pathina solid line so you can change the color also I'm going for this color and in the width of the line um change pannala so you can change the text box like this okay so these are the options you have so you can include the text in a document using the text box option also otherwise simply you can place the cursor anywhere and you can include the text and you can also replace the existing document or replace the existing text also using this option so adu pannala okay so these are the different ways of including the text or inserting the text in a microsoft word document okay in formatting okay so as i said uh, you have fonts font styles font colors font sizes then you can now uh, highlight the text using colors and also you can clear the formats okay and you can change the cases let us as i said uh, you have the upper case lower case sentence case then capitalize each word so you have different options for changing the cases also so you can do that so these are the different options which are available in the formatting so this formatting can be applied to a text okay so as i said this is the screen you can see and these are the shortcut keys you can use control plus b for bold then control plus i for italics and control plus u for underline okay so these are the options you can you can have so they ellame i'm explain paniyaachu now coming to the paragraphs okay so paragraphs there are different options are there let us bullets so why you have to go for this bullets why we have to go why you have to go for bullets so in order to make the uh, presentation in a document more attractive so in order to present your things in a more presentable way you can go for bullets okay so bullets la you have different uh, uh, shapes of bullets round and the madri nariya shapes irukku so now i am typing sentences like this i am typing some continuous sentences like this okay So now, what I'm doing right now, at the end of each uh, sentence, I'm just I'm giving an enter. Like this. So over and over a sentence actually. Now I'm selecting this text. I'm going for this option. I'm using this bullet. Okay. So examination ले पातो ना नम्मे paragraph ऐड दर दबड़ा इंद मधे निगे bullet points बोट ऐड दिगे ना the presentation will be more neat okay so you can uh, like present your points in a more uh, um, with more clarity okay so you can present your document in a more uh, with more clarity so आधे काहे नम्मे ना पन्दर ना we are going using this uh, bullets so bullets ले you have different styles तो नम्मे ऐ द वैन आल choose पन्दर ग्ला ऐ द वैन आल use पन्दर ग्ला okay and again instead of bullets you can go for numbering also suppose if you are explaining some concept okay or a procedure explain pandringa for a design problem abina so you have different steps right suppose if you are writing step by step so you can list out all the steps and you can go for this option so step 1 step 2 step 3 so you can go for the numbering option also so adle numbering le you have different styles in the madri irukku roman letters 
so you have different uh, styles of number formats or you have a b c d option also so small a b c d with brackets similarly so you have different uh, options for numbering also idu suppose if you want to have the sub numbering so one kulla pathina a b c d e adhe maadhiri irukadha you can do it right so you have different options like this heading one heading two heading three just I'm one So just I'm selecting this. So I can do like this. So within one, again I can list out a few things and again I can number like this A, B, C, etc. Okay, so these are the uses of bulleting actually as well as the numbering options. Okay, so these are different number formats available. And you can define the new number format also. So number style every canoe number define panicla font also we can define. So these are the and alignment every canoe. So we can define it here. And what is this actually? What is this? So I can select, so I can move like this. Similarly, I can move like this, right? So this option is especially for decreasing or increasing the, or you can new, move your paragraph, okay? So to the margin, closer to the margin or away from the margin. So you can select the text and you can choose this. So it will move away from the margin like this, or it will move closer to the margin like this, okay? And what is this option? A to Z. So you can arrange your uh, uh, selection in the alphabetical order or numerical order. Okay, something like this. So this is sort option. So where you can uh, select the text and you can arrange it either in alphabetical order or numerical order. For example, if you are uh, writing a paper, right, a research paper, and at the end of the paper, you will be listing the references. Okay, the references uh the you will normally the author's name will be there so i'll show you a particular document for you know to explain this mm. yeah let me show a document So now this is a document, this is a research paper, which is, a, uh, this is the work done by our students. Okay, so we have prepared a paper. And at the end, actually, we have listed the references. Okay, so in order to carry out this work, what are the papers we have referred? So we have given that at the end of the document as references. So if you can see here, so you have different authors which are listed here. So in the, the papers, la refer panirko. So normally, while you prepare the references for a particular paper, so author's name will be given first like this. Then you have the title of the paper. Okay, then you have the title of the journal or name of the journal, then volume number, then year of publication of the journal, and the page number of the particular article. So this is the way you will prepare as per the IEEE format and whatever. So now this is the references list. Now what is this actually? When I select one, I select one of the numbers I select all the what what is the meaning of that? So I have prepared this list as a what type of list? Numbers not type on it can over the layout over reference line not type on it can numbers one two or they put type on it can so what I have done here actually numbering on it. Numbering for it. So I have used number format. Okay. Now I pay up right now the references left. Select panita. So I'm removing the format non-important. Okay. 
document alignment eppadi irukku actually what is that type of alignment i have done here justify justify pa left pota enna agum ipdi agum is it presentable paaka nalla irukka in the document left justify pota na left pota na left alignment pota na nalla irukka paakradhuk document no ma no so adhu me center alignment podren that is looking nice nalla irukka paakradhuk ah illa ma no so again right alignment again that is also not looking nice so left alignment again i am going to justify this document appo da enna avo left line right line pathina ore margins la irukum okay you can see here margins inga namak idu theriyada actually ruler theriyada you can see the ruler here mm, yes ma'am yes so you can adjust this ruler and similarly you can adjust this okay now coming to this now i am going to either we can go for bullet but bulleting normally or paper la nam use pandrathu kadaiyadu so we will normally number the references appo enna pannano i have to number it inga square bracket ah sila journals la prefer panvanga adha na square bracket use panirken again if you select this motha ellame select aagum font size i have to reduce ena inda text oda size enna irukku times to roman 10 endu irukku therefore this also should be times to roman 10 now what i am going to do is ipo nama enna panna porona i am going to sort it right a to z in the option vandu you can uh, select the document and you can arrange it alphabetically okay so now ipo enna panna porena i am going to select it so the paragraphs are sending to descending okay potena automatically enna vaayirum node text ellame alphabetical order la sort aayirum You can see here it starts from A. At the upper B. Okay, so in that way you can sort the selected text in the alphabetical order like this. So normally it will be useful while you prepare the papers for a journal. Okay, so in some of the journals they will uh, ask us to prepare the references in alphabetical order. So in that case, what you can do is first you can prepare the list, and after that you can use this particular option in order to sort your document alphabetically like this. Is it clear? Yes, ma'am. Ah, my numbers are in the alamein. I'm a panala actually. Numerical uh, numbers are in the alamein. We can uh, select the text and we can arrange it either in ascending order or descending order. But whatever way we like to have, we can do it. Okay. So, इधर ना मैंने पातो इधर वंदे bullets create पन्दर दुके document ला इधर वंदे numbers. Okay. Then इधर वंदे uh, in uh, paragraph index create पन्दर दुके. That is, you can. Uh, move the selected text either towards the margin or away from the margin using this option or you can sort the text alphabetically or in ascending order or descending order whatever way we can do it so you can do it and what is this symbol especially what is this symbol in a document ye in the symbol irukku namakku in the symbol illaina enna agum what is the use of this symbol Yes. Any idea? What is the use of the symbol? Are you there in the class, everybody? Yeah. Tell me. The symbol. Yara, use pani kingla word use pandra po. we who use the symbol use panikingla illaya ma'am enter ku ma'am ha enter evlo enter irukku nu solla paakuradhukku ma'am enter evlo koduthirukom nu endu enter evlo koduthirukom nu solla paakuradhukku ma'am endu enter ma'am okay enter enga kuduthirukom nu paakuradhukku very good so that is one of the option okay enter enga kuduthirukom nu paakuradhukku inonu irukku actually ah neenga paathinga na ipo na enna pandren na indha text irukku liya indha particular paragraph na move pandren okay na okay so now i am giving a tab tab use pandren na 
டேப் யூஸ் பண்ணா என்ன ஆகுது இந்த பாராகிராஃப் மூவ் ஆகுது இல்லையா மூவ் ஆகுது நான் இப்ப டேப் கொடுத்து நான் என்னோட பாராகிராஃப் மூவ் பண்றேன் அப்படி மூவ் பண்ணாம நான் என்ன பண்றேன்னா ஐ எம் கிவிங் சம் ஸ்பேஸ் ஸ்பேஸ் கொடுக்குறேன் நான் டாக்குமெண்ட்ல சம் ஸ்பேஸ் கொடுத்து என்னால மூவ் பண்ண முடியும் இந்த டெக்ஸ்ட் அப்படி தானே எஸ் மேம் எஸ் பட் எது கரெக்ட் ஆக்சுவலா ஈஸியா <laughs> 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 Okay, so normally we have a paragraph that we have to do with Indent, we will use only tab. But if we do it, we will align the space bar that day, they will align it. But that is not correct. Okay, so if we do it, we will do it in the formatting, we will do it in the symbol use, we will do it correctly. So if we do it on, we will do it on, we will do it on, we will do it on. So that has to be removed. There is a space bar, it has to be removed. அதே மாதிரி பாராகிராஃப் ஒரு சென்டென்ஸ் எண்ட்ல நாம என்ன பண்ணிருப்போம் ফুল ஸ்டாப் வச்சிருப்போம் ফুল ஸ்டாப் வச்சு தேவையில்லாம ஸ்பேஸ் பார் கொடுத்துக்கலாம் தெரியாம சோ அதெல்லாம் வந்து கரெக்ட் பண்றதுக்கு இந்த ஆப்ஷன் நமக்கு ரொம்ப யூஸ்புல்லா இருக்கு ஓகே சோ இன் ஆர்டர் டு செக் தி லேアウト ஆஃப் யுவர் டாக்குமெண்ட் தோஸ் திஸ் பர்టిక్యులர் சிம்பல் will be very much useful so you can just on it and you can see so what are the space bars we have used what are the tabs we have used and in that area la enter irukku சப்போஸ் ரெண்டு பாராகிராஃப் இருக்கு நமக்கு அப்படின்னா அகைன் இன்னொரு பாராகிராஃப் இருக்கு அப்படின்னா ஸோ இந்த இடத்துல மேபி ரெண்டு என்ட்ர கொடுத்துருக்கலாம் இந்த இடத்துல மூணு என்ட்ர கொடுத்துருக்கலாம் ஸோ வி டோன்ட் நோ இப்படி இருக்கும் உங்க டாக்குமெண்ட் ஸோ யூனிஃபார்மிட்டி இருக்கணும் அப்படின்னா என்ன பண்ணணும்னா ஸோ இதை ஆன் பண்ணி பார்த்தீங்கன்னா தெரிஞ்சிடும் ஸோ இந்த இடத்துல ரெண்டு மூணு ஸ்பேஸ் பார் இருக்கு ஸோ வி கேன் கரெக்ட் இட் அதே மாதிரி இந்த இடத்துல ஸ்பேஸ் பார் இருக்கு ஸோ திஸ் வி கேன் கரெக்ட் இட் இதையும் கரெக்ட் பண்ணிக்கலாம் So, some, sometimes we know what we are going to do. We are going to have two space bars. So, in between the words, there should be only one space bar. Sometimes, in between the words, there are two space bars. So, we are going to have to correct what we are going to do. We are going to have to use this symbol. Use we can do it. Actually, this symbol is very much useful for us, especially for formatting. So, in the end, we have issues for formatting. That could be easily identified when you use this particular option. Is it clear? Yes, ma'am. Then, this is the left align. Text is the left align. So, this again is the central alignment. So, this is the center line. Then, the central line is the text. Text is the center line. The right align is the right. Then, justify. Normally, we have text here. We have justify text. Then, coming to the most important option here in the paragraph spacing. That is line and paragraph spacing. This is the use of the actual. So, if you go there, there is an option for you. I will come to this one. Now, coming to this option. So, this is for changing your line spacing. So, you have some default line spacing like 1, 1.15, 1. 1.5. So, now, when you change the line spacing, you can increase on the particular text. 2.5. So, normally, what do you prefer to do with the line spacing? So, in the documents, especially while preparing some papers or project reports, so, they will ask us to go for 1.5 line spacing. So, 1.5 line spacing is going to be like this. Or simple documentation, we will go for 1.15 spacing. Okay? So, if you look at this, we have many paragraphs. So, I have about three paragraphs. So, even you can go for line spacing options. So, alignment also you can change here. Justified, body text, then left intendation. We will set sometimes zero. Cancel. Line spacing option. So, zero. You can default, you can set it as zero. Then, paragraph spacing, you can uh, uh, do it here. Okay? So, idu mein I am selecting two paragraphs. Now, in the enter, I may delete pandra info. So, I have two paragraphs here. Line spacing options. So I can go for uh, 
six point that is before and after or twelve and a set pani kaam kareng will kaha hai ko the line spacing also you can change here you can go for multiple and you can select your line spacing here one point two na set pano no abhi na because there is no default option of one point two single line spacing irukka adhika pro one point one five irukka one point five irukka two irukka two point five irukka so if i want some spacing in between suppose if i want to have 1.3 abina i can do it here okay okay potena automatically enna vairona ungala paragraph in between the paragraphs also so you can have some spacing nam enna set pani irukom in between the paragraphs i have set 12 point and 12 point okay and the line spacing also i have set 1.3 so which is not in the default line spacing option so i have set it as 1.3 so in between the paragraphs you have the 12 points and 12 points and the lines in between the lines you have a spacing of 1.3 so that you can do it here if i na correct it 6 6 correct it and this also i'm reducing it to single single na single option e irukinge vote na automatically the line spacing option will get decreased paragraph spacing of 6 sides so in the mari uniform ah nama set panitona or document la presentation if you see print option print preview பாத்தீங்கன்னா you can see here uniform-a irukum the document la illana in between the paragraphs edha the enter irukum illana line spacing different-a alladhu paragraph spacing different-a irundhaduna ungala print preview la easy-a kandupidichira mudiyum nammala document la proper formatting la illa endradhu we can easily identify okay so idhilayum poi we can do it okay so you can spread is you can uh, add the spacing between the paragraphs and also you can add the line spacing also here okay that we can do it here then what is this option actually so fill under the option okay you can fill it like this so you can go for different colors and what about this so you can give the borders okay especially for uh, tables we can go for it so we can uh, suppose bottom border matter enak venum appadina table la can go for this and top borders alone if you want to retain left border right border and no borders also you can do it and all borders okay so especially for tables we can go for this option okay so any doubt in this particular thing paragraph so this is especially for formatting okay and also to make the uh, document in a more presentable way using bullets as well as the numbering formats okay so either you go you can go for bullets or you can go for the numbering formats okay and you can either uh, increase the uh, or decrease the indent of a paragraph towards the or towards the margin that you can do then you can sort the document alphabetically or you can sort the document uh, in the ascending order or descending order in the using the sort option and this symbol is very very important you can see the layout of a particular document very clearly using this particular option so you can easily identify the flaws so wherever the unnecessary enters are there and wherever unnecessary space bars are there so that you can easily identify with the help of this option and this is your left alignment and this is your uh, central alignment and this is your right alignment justified alignment and here you can increase the line spacing or you can decrease the line spacing and also you can fix the paragraph spacing also so that you can done do you that you can do using this option and this is the filling option okay especially for tables or text box you can go for this and either one the borders especially for tables we can use it using this uh, using this border option you can uh, fix your uh, border for the table so a table ku pathinga na outer layout matta vechikala inner layout matta vechikala so edha venal vechikala so especially in the documentation professional documentation skills in rapo நாம ஒரு ப்ராஜெக்ட் ரிப்போர்ட் ரெடி பண்ணுவோம் இல்லனா ஒரு பேப்பர் ரெடி பண்ணுவோம் அல்லது ஒரு ஆர்டிகல் ரெடி பண்ணுவோம் நவ யூ கேன் see this particular table option இது எப்படி இருக்கு एक्चुअली இந்த டேபிள் வாட் யூ கேன் see here let me explain with the table so you see this particular table normal table la enna irukum it has all the vertical lines and all the horizontal lines but here in the journal format in the journal template itself so they have asked us to prepare a table like this apna enna artham enna illa inga inda table la enna miss aagudhu actually vertical lines 
what is missing here there are no vertical lines illaya edume illa ipo na normal ah kondu varamudiyum indha table la select pandren select panni i go to this option all borders kodren actually idha enoda original table but journal template la enna kuduthirukanga na indha maadhiri enak or table kodunu kuduthirukanga that is all the vertical lines are removed ama top la indha header row irukku laya andha header row la ulla borders mattum irukku horizontal borders mattum irukku so this line is there and this line is there at bottom at the end of the table you have this horizontal line all other lines are not there so na enna pannirkena select panni so all borders so idha enoda original table so adukapra enna pannirken select panni uh so no border pannikalam indha maadhiri pannikalam then horizontal borders matto enak venum appadina i can do it outside borders matto venum na i can do it inside borders matto venum na i can do it right border matto venum na i can do it okay so i can do like this suppose na idu matto select pandren table select pandren so top border left border all borders inside borders outside borders so now better first enna pannalana in the table select panni no borders put it suppose enak in the row ku mattum enak venumna i can go for top border i can go for bottom border similarly i can select this particular row alone i can go for this bottom border so idu mattu pannikalam so ipdi da enga journal template ku naanga kuduthirukom okay so this is the way you have to uh, change your formatting for the table especially when you want to uh, give borders uh, some specific borders kudukanuna i can use this option to give the borders for your table okay otherwise you have the standard table like this all borders kuduthinga na indha maadhiri undu actually original la create pandra po first table ipdi dhaan create pannuvom then according to the journal requirements we will modify the table using this particular option okay so is it clear yes ma'am yes then table designs i'll come to that later then you have uh, the home tab paragraph then styles so idla styles la enna panna mudiyum actually what you can do in the style option what you can do here so this is the normal thing heading பட் நாம நார்மல் இதுக்கு தான் போவோம் யூஸ்வலா சோ ஃபாண்டோட ஸ்டைல चेंज பண்ணனும்னா யூ கேன் கோ ஃபார் திஸ் பர்టిక్యులர் ஆப்ஷன் ஓகே and what is this find replace select etc so select all போடிங்கன எல்லா டெக்ஸ்டும் செலக்ட் ஆகும் ஓகே செலக்ட் ஆப்ஜெக்ட்ஸ் போட்டு யூ கேன் செலக்ட் தி ஆப்ஜெக்ட்ஸ் இன் தி பர்టిక్యులர் டாக்குமெண்ட் and suppose if you want to find any anything in a particular document you can go for control enna podano what is the shortcut key for this control f control f yeah control f pote you can uh, um, search for any particular text in a document so i'm searching for silica suppose i want to replace the silica with uh, some other term so replace with silicon to replace so either you can replace term by term or the replace all putting in a we made 21 replacements we want to continue on click the so sn put down we made 21 replacements so now the word silica has been replaced by silicon so you can go for this option also so you have the find and replace option and you have the option for selecting the uh, text in a particular document or select objects so whatever so these are the options which are available in the home okay 
ஸோ இன்ஃபேக்ட் வேர்ல வந்து நமக்கு நிறைய எக்ஸ்ப்ளோர் பண்ணுறதுக்கு நிறைய இருக்கு ஓகே ஸோ எவ்ரி திங் பை ட்ரையல் அண்ட் எரர் ஓகே எவ்ரி திங் பை எக்ஸ்பீரியன்ஸ் எவ்ரி திங் பை தி ஹேண்ட்ஸ் ஆன் எக்ஸ்பீரியன்ஸ் ரைட் ஸோ எல்லாமே பை ட்ரையல் தான் ஸோ வி ஹாவ் டு எக்ஸ்பெரிமெண்ட் இட் ஸோ சிம்பிளி வி கே நாட் லேர்ன் சிம்பிளி சிஸ்டம் பார்த்துட்டே உட்காந்துருந்தா வி கே நாட் லேர்ன் எனி திங் ஸோ வி ஹாவ் டு எக்ஸ்பீரியன்ஸ் தட் ஸோ வி ஹாவ் டு ப்ரிப்பேர் அ டாக்குமெண்ட் அண்ட் வி ஹாவ் டு எக்ஸ்பீரியன்ஸ் இட் பை யூசிங் த டிஃப்ரெண்ட் ஆப்ஷன்ஸ் இன் தி எம்எஸ் வேர்ட் okay so in the paragraphs na solirke you have uh, and you have the shortcut keys also for the uh, indenting the paragraphs so control plus e abina for uh, center indenting and control plus r for right indenting and control plus l for the left uh, indenting okay shall we continue till 1 o'clock or shall we have a break enna ch Shall we continue? So that afternoon will be free. Okay? Okay, ma'am. Yes. Over one o'clock, uh, we'll shoot. Ma. Okay, ma'am. Okay. So these are the shortcut keys. So control plus E, control plus R, and control plus L. So next uh, important component or uh, rip, uh, menu which is available in the MS Word is the insert. So in the insert, you have so many options. What can we insert in the MS Word document? What are the things we can insert in the MS Word document? table drawing table yeah you can insert table then lining yeah you can insert some shapes border some border insert some pictures insert some images insert table then insert uh, uh, you can insert page numbers also you can insert page breaks okay so these are several options which are available in the insert menu of ms word okay Now we'll go to the insert option. So you can see different options which are available here. Okay, insert cover page. What is cover page actually? What is cover page? Suppose if you are preparing a small report. Okay, so you want to give some title page for the particular document. okay because title page is very very important so that will make your document uh, or that will give you some idea so whenever you have a cover page in your document so that will give you some idea so what is that report about okay for on title page now we create panala uh, let me show a simple thing mm. suppose i am a students project scheme ipo ungalku announce panirukanga la unga madam மேடம் அனௌன்ஸ் பண்ணிருக்காங்களா கிளாஸ்ல ஹவு டு அப்ளை ஃபார் ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் ப்ராஜெக்ட் ஸ்கீம் அப்படின்னு எவ்ரி ஒன் தேர் எல்லாம் இருக்கீங்களா கிளாஸ்ல தான் Ah, yes ma'am there now yes okay so you are uh, preparing some uh, um, so let me show you a wrapper so now our project uh, proposal ready pandren so i'm sending it to a external agency so simply document prepare panni anupuna it is not uh, so impressive so what i thought is uh, so i can prepare some wrapper or cover page for that okay so i am preparing a cover page like this the college name the submission of proposal under the scheme of put the title of the project so where i am sending to particular agency submitted by so and so okay so this is a cover page now this is the page which i have prepared manually using ms word only but in the 
word itself okay there are certain options to prepare the cover page so if you can go to insert option so you can see this cover page are you seeing the default cover pages available in the word yes ma'am yes so you have different uh, cover pages like this so it can uh, that is it will tell you what that particular document is about so it can give the document title here for example project report so i can write here project report on okay so this is one of the default templates available so you can see here name automatically vandirchu so you can type your project uh, uh, mates the uh, name also for example um, so some x y z okay then company name so you can type department of civil engineering sri venkateshwara college of engineering okay so you can prepare a cover page like this for whatever documents or whatever reports you are preparing so you have different styles you can see the project report on okay so you can select your own template like this so this is another template so you can replace this image also with some other image relevant to your project report okay so that you can do it so you can also download more cover pages from office.com so that is available so remove current cover page so the cover page will be removed so this is how you have to insert your cover page so cover page is very very essential especially when you would like to present some proposal or when you would like to present some project report or when you would like to present some important document to external agency or to any other um, even for assignment you can do it right suppose if you are asked to submit an assignment so you can prepare a cover page for your assignment like this okay then you can insert the blank page also so insert blank page so i'm placing my cursor here then blank page so automatically a blank page will be created at the particular location okay or you can you can insert your page break also again i'm placing a cursor here insert page break so why page breaks are essential suppose if i want to break my document okay if i want to start a particular chapter in the next page in a, a fresh page so i can use this page break option okay especially in the project reports so the new chapter will start from the new page okay so your project report will be composed of different chapters chapter 1 chapter 2 chapter 3 etc so each chapter will begin in a fresh page okay so in that case i have to suppose enak chapter 2 vandu inga mudiyadhu nechikalame okay you have lot of space but i have to start my chapter 3 in the next page appo na enna pandren inge cursor vacha i am inserting page break so automatically next page ku poyiru i am starting chapter 3 here okay so idukku da nama page break use pandrom so i want to break this particular document here and i want to start my new chapter in the next page so in that case i can go for this page break okay so you can insert cover page or you can insert blank page also or you can insert uh, page break also then you have important option called as table insert table so you can create tables in ms word okay so here you can choose the number of columns and rows which are required okay so you can see here if i select like this 6 by 6 table 6 by 5 table 6 by 4 table like this okay or simply you can insert table okay if i click on here so idhilay poi nam number of columns row select pannala or i can go for this insert table option to fix the number of columns required suppose i select five columns three rows so i can create a table like this and one important thing you have to remember here is especially when you want to create a table என்ன பண்ணுங்கன்னா யூஸ்வலா எல்லாரும் தப்பு பண்றது இங்கதான் 
சோ நான் இப்போ இங்க என்ட்ரி கொடுக்கறேன் நெக்ஸ்ட் பேஜ்ல நான் டேபிள் ஆரம்பிக்கிறேன் வெச்சுக்கலாம் ஃபார் எக்ஸாம்பிள் ஐ அம் டெலீட்டிங் திஸ் சோ நான் இந்த இடத்துல வெச்சு நான் இந்த இடத்துல கர்சர் வெச்சிருக்கேன் ஐ அம் ஜஸ்ட் இன்சர்ட்டிங் டேபிள் லைக் திஸ் சும்மா இஷ்டத்துக்கு நான் ஒரு டேபிள கிரியேட் பண்றேன் இந்த டேபிள் இப்போ என்ன ஆகுது பேஜ் ஸ்டார்டிங்ல நான் கிரியேட் பண்ணிருக்கேன் பட் ஸ்டில் ஐ என்னோட டேபிள மூவ் பண்றது ரொம்ப கஷ்டம் இங்க இருந்து நான் வரணும் டேபிள் கிரியேட் பண்றப்ப அப்படி பண்ணாதீங்க தயவு செஞ்சு என்ன ஆகுது டேபிள் அடுத்த பேஜ்க்கு போயிருக்கு டேபிள் கிரியேட் பண்றப்போ எப்பயுமே ஸோ நான் நெக்ஸ்ட் பேஜ்ல கிரியேட் பண்ணா கூட என்ன பண்ணணும்னா யூ ஜஸ்ட் கிவ் சஃபிஷியன்ட் என்டர் ஒரு என்டர் மேல இருக்கட்டும் இந்த இடத்துல கர்சர் வச்சுட்டு யூ கிரியேட் அ டேபிள் இப்ப என்ன என்னால என்ன பண்ண முடியும்னா இந்த டேபிள் மூவ் பண்ண முடியும் ஈஸியா சில பேர் நிறைய பேர் என்ன மிஸ்டேக் பண்றீங்கன்னா இந்த டேபிள் மூவ் பண்ணி கர்சர் வச்சு என்டர் கொடுத்து தான் டேபிள் மூவ் பண்ணணும் சில பேர் என்ன பண்றாங்கன்னா டேபிள் பிடிச்சி இப்படி இஷ்டத்துக்கு இழுக்கிறாங்க ஓகே ஸோ தட் ஷுட் நாட் பி டன் தட்ஸ் அ பிளண்டர் இன் ஃபேக்ட் யூ ஷுட் நாட் மூவ் டேபிள் லைக் திஸ் டேபிள் எப்படி மூவ் ஆகணும் என்ன பண்ணா மூவ் ஆகணும் டேபிள் ஆக்சுவலா என்ன பண்ணா மூவ் ஆகணும் போட்டு okay and again another thing is that table create panitta i'm uh, giving some headings like this serial number name type um like to whatever in the header row clear yeah, always you have to select this header row center alignment layout la poi You please select this option. Okay. So, we will come to the center of the text. What did I do? Where did I go first? I did not know. I did not know. Yes, if you are in the center of the text, are you able to see this? Not... Ah, yes, ma'am. Is there a text in the center of the text? Can you tell me? Yes, I am. In the center of the text, there is no text in the text in the center of the text. காத்தாலே தெரியுதா கொஞ்சம் மேல ஏறி இருக்கு லைன் ஒட்டி இருக்கு நான் இப்ப சென்டர் கொண்டு வரணும் என்ன ப்ராப்ளம் எனக்கு ஐடென்டிஃபை பண்ணணும் எனக்கு தெரியல இப்ப என்ன ப்ராப்ளம் தெரியல நான் என்ன பண்றேன்னா செலக்ட் பண்றேன் லே அவுட்ல போய் ஆட்டோமேட்டிக்கா சென்டர்ல இருந்தா சென்டர்ல இருக்கும் பட் சென்டர்ல இல்ல சோ ஐ ஹாவ் சம் ப்ராப்ளம் இன் மை ஸ்பேசிங் சோ நான் லைன் ஸ்பேசிங் போறேன் லைன் ஸ்பேசிங் ஆப்ஷன்ஸ் இங்க பாத்தீங்கன்னா என்ன இருக்கு பாராகிராஃப் ஸ்பேசிங் என்ன இருக்கு After spacing, there is 8 points. So, this is the problem in the document. I will take 0 and take 0. Now, there is the center of the row. Text. Is it there in the center? Again, I am selecting. I am going for paragraph option. இப்ப நான் யூனிஃபார்ம் பாராகிராஃப் ஸ்பேசிங் கொடுக்குறேன் இப்ப எப்படி இருக்கு சென்டர்ல இருக்கு பாக்குறது கொஞ்சம் நீட்டாகவும் இருக்கு இப்ப நான் என்ன பண்ணலாம்னா பட் இந்த ரோவும் இந்த ரோவும் டிஃப்ரெண்டா இருக்கு இல்லையா சோ வாட் ஐ கேன் டூ இஸ் சப்போஸ் எனக்கு இந்த மாதிரி இருந்தா கிளாரிட்டி இருக்கு டேபிள் அப்படின்னு நினைச்சேன்னா ஹியர் ஐ கேன் என்டர் லைக் திஸ் இந்த ரோ டெலீட் பண்ணிடலாம் 
இல்ல எனக்கு ரொம்ப ஸ்பேசிங் அதிகமா இருக்கு அப்படின்னு நான் ஃபீல் பண்ணலாம் கேன் கோ ஹியர் லைன் ஸ்பேசிங் ஆப்ஷன்ஸ் ஐ கேன் ஜஸ்ட் ரெடியூஸ் இட் சிக்ஸ் சிக்ஸ் So, default ஸோ டீஃபால்ட்டா இந்த பேராகிராஃப் ஸ்பேசிங் ஆப்ஷன்ஸ் ஆர் சிக்ஸ் அண்ட் சிக்ஸ் இருக்கு இல்லைன்னா டுவெல் எயிட்டீன் அப்படிதான் இன்க்ரீஸ் ஆயிட்டு போகுது பட் ஸ்டில் வி கேன் கஸ்டமைஸ் திஸ் ஐ கேன் மேக் இட் அஸ் த்ரீ அந்த மாதிரி என்னால் பண்ண முடியும் ஆர் ஐ கேன் மேக் இட் அஸ் டூ ஆர் ஐ கேன் மேக் இட் அஸ் ஃபோர் ஓகே அண்ட் திஸ் ஹெட்டர் ரோ நார்மலி வில் ஜஸ்ட் போல்ட் பண்ணுவோம் சென்டரில் இருக்கும் அண்ட் ஆல்சோ ஐ கேன் இன்க்ரீஸ் சீரியல் நம்பர்னு நான் போட்டுட்டேன் so i can just think, add bullets numbering like this so ninga ipdi pannitinga na aduthu ninga enter kuduka kuduka enna aguna ungala numbers default ah vandute irukum so i can create a k table like this even in the insert ku la poninga na tables la uh, again draw table nariye nariye irukku actually nariye options irukku and table design is also there okay so i can go for different table designs like this even colors so you can go for different colors like this but default ah namma podrathu in the table normal table is this so please keep it in mind so whenever you you create a table in a fresh page you please enter kudunga or rendu moonu enter kuduthittu adukapra you create your table and don't move your tables like this dai have sent me move panna din okay so this is not the way to move your table so any doubts in this creation of table no ma'am suppose if you have more number of columns in a table when i na pandrena insert நிறைய டேபிள் பண்றேன் என்ன ஆப்ஷன் யூஸ் பண்றேன் தெரியுமா இங்க ஆக்சுவலா ரிப்பீட் திஸ் வாட் இஸ் அட் கட் கி ஐம் யூசிங் எனி ஐடியா நிறைய நான் இப்போ காலம்ஸ் இன்சர்ட் பண்ணிட்டே போறேன் ஐம் ரிப்பீட்டிங் தி திங் லைக் ஸோ வாட் இஸ் ஆப்ஷன் ஐம் யூசிங் கண்ட்ரோல் ஒய் நான் இப்போ கண்ட்ரோல் இன்சர்ட் போடுறேன் Control Z போட்டா என்ன ஆகுது இங்க பண்ணதெல்லாம் அண்டு அண்டு இப்போ நான் திருப்பி வந்து நம்பர் ஆஃப் காலம்ஸ் இன்கிரீஸ் பண்ணனும்னா நான் என்ன பண்றேன்னா இன்சர்ட் காலம்ஸ் நான்கு காலம் செலக்ட் பண்ணிருக்கேன் சோ இன்சர்ட் காலம்ஸ் டு தி ரைட் போட்டா அடிஷனலா ஃபோர் காலம்ஸ் ஆட் ஆகுது திருப்பி நான் ஒண்ணுமே பண்ணல ஜஸ்ட் ஐம் பிரஸ்ஸிங் Ctrl Y and again I'm inserting columns to the right. Again, control Y. Just I'm pressing control Y. So, automatically, 4-4 columns are created. So, if you want to undo that, control Z. Undo that. If you want to repeat anything, whatever you have done previously, so you can use the control Y option. Okay? So, you can just keep it in mind. So, control Y is under repeat. Whatever options we did before, so we can repeat the same option using control Y option. வரும்ரு right or you can change the option of the uh, page setup also so i'll come to that later if i insert option which is right so insert la enna options in there we can insert cover page or we can insert blank page or we can insert the page break also or we can insert the table also so table create for the context please remember if you want to create the table in a fresh page please give enter sufficient enter enter kapra which table create panunga okay and uh, you can insert pictures also next option is inserting pictures so you can insert pictures from uh, the device itself so in your laptop or computer's la in the image save panikingo that you can 
insert or you can uh, insert the pictures online also. So, rent option with that. So, you can insert pictures whatever stored in your computer or you can insert pictures from online. So, you can insert pictures. Then you can insert the shapes also. So, you have so many shapes which are available. Okay, so you have lines, lines with the arrow on both sides, arrow on one side. So, you have this uh, symbols also, rectangles, and basic shapes also you can insert, block, uh, block arrows, then equation shapes, plus, minus, multiplication, divide, etc. Then flow chart use for the uh, shapes also you can just uh, insert. So, these are the different shapes which are available, so which you can insert anywhere in your document. Okay. So, in here, I'm insert media. Like this, you can insert. So, once one object or one shape insert, you can modify the size also. Okay. So, you can format shape. Right click on it, you can format the shape and you can modify the item width like this. If I correct the size, I am the actual Are you able to see? I'm reducing the size. Eight but to current day were the length, ma'am. Yeah, height but to current day were the that is 0 0.7 centimeter, 0 0.6. But what about the uh, the base width? Base width was upgraded. Okay, but after the correct could have actual. So this is the original image. So I'm just go to format shape. This is a point in the size in the click on it. You just click block aspect ratio. Okay. If you have a picture size, you can see it automatically. You can see it on your own height. Is it okay? Yes, ma'am. Yes, I don't know if we have a picture size. We have a picture size. We have a picture size. So it has to change proportionately, right? Whatever picture you are inserting in a document, the size and format it has to change proportionately, whether it is a height or width. Okay. Therefore, for that option, in the size of the point lock or aspect ratio one the check I can check when you go. If you check I the now it is a picture one the proportionate maru. So this is applicable to any shape. You can proportionately change the size. So I'm just drawing. Again, I'm just drawing. So I'm just drawing. Again, size option for you. Lock aspect ratio is not. I'm going to show you a single picture like this. But this is not advisable. Okay, so you can just block the aspect ratio and we can size the picture like this. Okay. So, this is the work of the practice shapes and other shapes that we use. You can go for it. Okay. Then, uh, 3D models also there. So, you can insert 3D models. So, you can insert anything. Then, what is this uh, smart art? Again, chart also you can insert. Okay. Histogram. So, a lot of charts are available. Bar chart, pie chart, line chart, XY chart. So, a lot of chart options are there. So, you can go for it. So, you can modify the data here. Okay. So, you can modify the data here. So, if you modify the data, automatically the graph will change. Ilana best option in suppose if you want to import any graph or charts in Microsoft Word document, what you can do is you can draw your chart or graph in the Excel and you can uh, import that Excel uh, chart in this Word document. Other than actually, you know, Romba simplified our code. Okay, so you can draw your graph or chart in the Excel and the file at the couple of edit one thing the name some particular. So that you can do it. Then smart art. What is smart art actually? Smart art then. What is smart art? Flow charts. Yes, flow charts. Any representation. Okay. Uh, if you want to represent anything, 
okay with the help of a diagram or a flow chart if you want to explain any process okay or if you want to explain any life cycle of an uh, uh something okay some uh, cycle process explain pananum abina you can or list pananum edavadhu list pananum abina you can go for this uh, smart arts so you have different types of smart arts so you can see here a uh, process cycle so process explain pandrathukku in the flow charts la irukku actually default a or cycle explain pandrathukku idu irukku hierarchy hierarchy na enadhu suppose if in an organization if in a company okay there are different portfolio starting from uh, the director of the company adukapra ceo uh, joint ceo then you have uh, adukapra you have managers okay so you have so many portfolios right so if you want to represent the hierarchy of an organization for example if you take a department or if you take an institution you have the principal or you have the management you have the principal then you have the deans then you have the hods faculty members staff etc so you have different portfolios or designations okay so how they are grouped and what is the hierarchical uh, hierarchy uh, followed among the different uh, uh, people working in the department so that is the hierarchy so yaar vandu top la irukanga adukapra yaar irukanga adukapra yaar irukanga so in order to represent the hierarchy of anything so you can go for this then relation okay so you have different types of uh, uh, smart arts like this so depending on the requirements we can either you and you can have the pyramids also then pictures okay so you have different types of smart arts which you can use to represent anything uh, in a document okay so these are the smart arts which we can make use of then screen shots also you can uh, uh, insert okay so these are different options and you have you can insert page number also in a document because if you have a document with so many pages then definitely should have the page number so it is easy to identify a particular uh, um, at the portion of a document if you want to locate anything in a particular document you can easily identify with the help of the page numbers normally in any document suppose if you have a document running over some 100 plus pages definitely you will have a content page like right? so even in project report we used to have a content page okay the content page will tell you uh, so for example a particular topic is in which, is in which page similarly this particular table is in which page this particular figure is in which page so you will have a content page so this content page will have the page numbers and it will have a topic and the page numbers so definitely in a document where you have more number of pages so if you have the page numbers it will be easy for you to identify a particular uh, picture or a figure or a table or a particular uh, paragraph or a particular topic very easily in a document so for that we need to insert the page numbers in a document so you can insert the page numbers also okay so before that let me move on to my ppt let me see any other things which i have uh, missed out so in the insert so as i said uh, so it's the second tab so it is used to include uh, tables word arts hyperlinks symbols charts signature line date time shapes header footer text boxes links boxes equations etc So so many options are there. You can insert so many things in a document, MS Word document. So this is a, a simple uh, screenshot to show. And again, page numbers. So you can include the page numbers. So if you see the page numbers, there are so many options. So in insert again, I'm going to page number. So here you can have so many options. Suppose if I want to insert the page number at the top of the page. or bottom of the page and page margins and the current position also i can just go for again top of the page pathina there are so many formats like this plain number so numbers ellam me top la irukum i can go for this option also so in the madri varum page number 1 page number 2 so you can also decide where to fix your page numbers So, where can I put the page number? Suppose if I choose the bottom of the page, suppose there are pages that require a page number. Why not? I can go for this option, page one of six. So this document has six pages. So page one of six, page two of six, etc. So in my there are formats. So whatever formats you'd like to choose, you can choose it. Okay. So. margin of the page you can choose it 
page one, page two, etc. So normally, either we'll uh, insert the page number at the most preferably at the bottom of the page. So we'll insert the page numbers. And uh, suppose if I want to identify each and every page, I can go for this option: page one of six, page two of six, page three of six, etc. And you have the header and footer also. So what is this header and footer used for? What is this header and footer? Yet it used for no header and footer. Now let me show you a document having header and footer. So any idea header footer yet kaha use pa no? So now kaam cha document le irukko actually. Illa mal irukka actually. Inge enna irukka default ta? What is this actually? Logo. Logo irukka. So they la fixed. So in the journal or a template, so logo or site. So you can see first page header here. So this is the header. Okay, suppose in a kind of document, in all pages, repeat a whole lot of panel. Okay, let me show you another document. Other than you see our phone. Okay. Yeah. Let me see. Yes. Now, are you able to see this document? Now, what is the header here? So, in fact, this is a PDF document anyway. So, what is the header here you can see? So, this symbol, this logo, and Electronic Journal of Structural Engineering, this volume number and year is there. So, this is there in the first page. This is there in the second page. And similarly, in all the pages, it is there. Right? So, this is the actual law. Header. Header of the document. Suppose if I want anything to be repeated in all the pages of the document, I can set it. Okay. For example, so I'm creating a new document. So I want to create uh, some header. Mm, suppose in the Madri. Let me go for simple header. So I can type here. For example, proceedings of the national conference. So I want this to the text to be repeated on So I can insert page break. Okay. So in all the pages, it will be repeated like this. Okay. Similarly, I can insert footer. Suppose I want to give some footnotes like this. This I'd like to type Department of Civil Engineering, SPCE. So close to so all the pages, you'll get this Department of Civil Engineering, SPCE. So this is how you have to create your header and footer. So for any document, you have, can just uh, set your header and footer like this, relevant to your document. Okay, on the document layer, the header are canoning and anchoring law that you can set. Similarly, on the document layer, the footer are canoning a thing for the law. So, that all that also you can set like this. Okay, so insert option, you can insert page numbers. So, you can insert header, then you can insert footer also. Then, text box, I've already just explained. So, you can go for text box option also. Okay, so text insert, either you can just use your cursor 
to insert any text or you can insert your text box so normal text box suppose or a document learning or picture embed pannu nenikringa na so you can insert text box option also to insert your picture appadi panni pannalam okay then next thing is you can insert any equations or symbols so you have the equation editor in ms word so whatever equations you would like to have in ms word document you can do it okay i think we can stop with this so any doubts you have up to this so you can insert black page as i said you can insert page breaks and you can add cover page so you have the default cover pages and smart art so smart art abindrathu so normally it is very much useful especially if you want to convey some ideas okay it is very easy to convey the information to others through the smart arts because always visual representation is very much easier to communicate to the audience rather than simple text okay therefore this smart art is very much helpful in the ms word especially if you want to communicate any process or life cycle or whatever or hierarchy or any any procedure whatever so you can use the smart arts that is nothing but a visual representation to communicate your ideas to the audience okay so you have different layouts as i said in the smart arts you have the list circles blocks pyramid cycles matrices charts venn diagrams etc so we can use different types of layouts especially um, when you want to communicate any ideas through the smart arts so these are the types of uh, smart arts as i said and you have to identify the correct smart art that is very very important okay so hierarchical hierarchical chart abina you have to go or you have to choose only the hierarchy smart arts so really if you want to explain any processes process flow chart matter na use pannalo okay so you, you you cannot change okay if suppose if you want to communicate anything if you want to list out anything list up indoor option e irukku so adile poi da neenga smart art choose pannalo so nama ishtathukku nama choose panna mudiyadhu you have to explain the any uh, uh, information to the audience so that is very very important and picture also you can insert and equation also we can uh, insert the equation in the ms word so that will see in the subsequent lecture sessions okay so any doubts you have up to this no ma'am see now overall i've explained panirke still will will have some exercises okay um in the subsequent sessions and uh, let me have some questions before closing the session mm. yes can can you answer this question when should you save your document after the work done after after we have typed or uh, we have finished the documentation so soon after you begin working okay initially when you open a microsoft document so after you type something initial uh, uh, immediately you can save it okay that because there are certain chances of losing the document or losing your work whatever you have done therefore you have to start uh, saving it as early as possible therefore soon after you begin working you have to uh, save your document okay and this is the next question can you please try and there are certain options true ma'am oh huh? true is it true word puts a red underline beneath text the word must be misspelled ஸோ நீங்கள் டைப் பண்ணுறப்பே பார்த்தீங்கன்னா சம்டைம்ஸ் வேர்ட்ஸ்க்கு கீழே வந்து ஒரு ரெட் லைன் நமக்கு இருக்கும் இல்லையா அந்த ரெட் லைன் என்ன இண்டிகேட் பண்ணுது வெதர் இட் இஸ் மிஸ்பெல் மிஸ்டேக் இருந்தாங்க 
okay especially names okay so edha or name type panna kuda underline panni kaamikkum because the word will not recognize that word it is not in the dictionary of the word therefore it is uh, false okay misspelled words matto underline panni kaamikkada adu dictionary la illada ella words e underline panni kaamikkum okay next question as you type as you type press enter to move from one line to the next as you type press enter to move from one line to the next so if you would like to move from one line to the next line enter press panna no yes or no ah uh, yes ma'am is it yes etna per yes solringa in the question ku true or false ye yeah, yes lalit kumar ye yeah, yes sir. ஒரு லைன்ல இருந்து நெக்ஸ்ட் லைன் மூவ் பண்றதுக்கு என்டர் பண்ணனுமா வேர்ட்ல என்டர் கொடுத்தா நெக்ஸ்ட் லைன் வரும் நோ அப்படியா அப்படியே நம்ம நெக்ஸ்ட் லைனுக்கு போறோம் ஆட்டோமேட்டிக்கா பாஸ்ல வெச்சுமா இல்லையே நான் இப்ப ஒரு ஃபுல்லா டைப் பண்ணிட்டே இருக்கேன் நான் நெக்ஸ்ட் லைன் அதுவே தான போகுது ஏ நம்ம என்டர் கொடுக்கணும் automatically and the margin mudichona enna pannudhu it is moving to the next line enter panirkena nanu whether there is any enter symbol ah no ma'am no okay so you don't have to press enter okay adutha paragraph ponuna da enna pannano you have to press enter Okay, what is the next question? To delete text, what is the first thing you have to do? Pick one answer. Answer. I'm select the... Yeah, very good. Select the text you want to delete. Delete. Okay, so you have to select the text you want to delete. That's the problem with the option. Lah. either you can go for delete option or you can go for backspace option most cool okay next question you want to add emphasis to a few words of text what is the first step select the text you want to format and then click the bold button in the font group on the home tab in the font group click bold type very hard So what is the answer for this? Enna pannano or certain few words ke emphasis kudukano word la appadina enna pannano suppose bold pannano nanu or particular text la vandu bold pannano appadina Select the text to your home Yeah select few text you want to format and then click on the bold button from the font group Mama okay first we will continue with remaining things especially in the next sessions so and before that actually we have to you the first action namu paakano this is very very important this layout edella adukku munnadi let us go for okay இந்த லேஅவுட் ரொம்ப ரொம்ப முக்கியம் ஆக்சுவலா இந்த லேஅவுட் எதுக்கு ஆக்சுவலா யூஸ் பண்றோம் வேர்ட் டாக்குமெண்ட்ல நம்ம ஃபர்ஸ்ட் எடுத்த உடனே ஒரு டாக்குமெண்ட்ல எஸ்பெஷலி நீங்க ரொம்ப இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் டாக்குமெண்ட் ரெடி பண்றப்போ ப்ராஜெக்ட் ரிப்போர்ட்டோ ஏதோ ரெடி பண்றப்போ இதுதான் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் நம்ம பண்ண வேண்டியது லேஅவுட் இல்லையா சோ யூ ஹேவ் டு பிக்ஸ் தி மார்ஜின் ஆஃப் தி டாக்குமெண்ட் அண்ட் ஆல்சோ ஓரியன்டேஷன் யூ ஹேவ் டு பிக்ஸ் என்ன டைப்ஸ் ஆஃப் ஓரியன்டேஷன் இருக்கு வேர்ட் டாக்குமெண்ட்ல யூ ஹேவ் டூ டைப்ஸ் ஆஃப் ஓரியன்டேஷன் ஒன் இஸ் தி போர்ட்ரைட் அனதர் ஒன் இஸ் தி landscape landscape so you can have either portrait document or landscape document so idume nama next sessions la paapo how to fix the margins and what is the orientation and how to fix the size of the page of the document because you have several options so you can fix the size of the page of the document also 
and also how to create columns or how to add the columns in a particular document so those things will continue in the next two tokens okay so, see especially ninga word kattukrapo hands on experience nariya panninga na you will uh, get lot of ideas so just i'll give you some exercises okay at the end of this particular course i'll give you some few exercises uh, to help you uh, to prepare a document in a more professional way eppadi or a printable format ku or document a prepare pananum how to create tables how to insert images so mean time i think the other faculty members will also focus on how to create uh, 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 charts and uh, graphs in excel so adallathi ninga learn pannikitta or a professional document or a word document eppadi prepare pananum abindradhukku i'll just give you some exercises so that you will have some better experience uh, uh, out of this particular course okay so make use of this course effectively because this will be very much useful for you especially when you uh, prepare some reports like internship reports or uh, project reports or any other documents assignments even uh, some kind of assignments okay so this particular course will be very much useful for you right Uh, thank you ruby you can just uh, stop recording the session